Hey guys, I am standing out here on the lot um, in front of our passport section, about to give you a tour of this 2951BH, and this is a part of the Passport GT series. Um, that stands for Grand Touring. They're a little bit bigger compared to your Passport SLs, which are right there. And I'm just gonna go over some of the specs first before starting that tour. Our weight is looking at 6,535 pounds, so it's pretty lightweight. And then our tip to tip length is 33 feet, four inches. So a uh, really awesome family friendly camper and it still has a lot of features without having to worry about towing all the extra weight. So now showing some stuff on the outside, you got your power tongue jack, very user friendly. You just have to press a button and it does the work for you. Uh, dual propane tanks just behind there. And since this is Keystone, you have the three year limited structural warranty, fiberglass front cap. Coming over to our camping side, there is no slide outs and you have some pass-through storage. This also has the slam latch and magnetic uh, latching, which is also really nice. So you can open it with one hand if your other hand is just carrying some stuff. Uh, this is a great spot to have any extra camping gear go in here, chairs, tables, fishing rods, even a bike could probably fit in here, honestly. Um, you also have a power awning that does have an LED light strip. And as you can see, you have two entrances into this camper and they are both protected underneath that awning. Bluetooth capable outside speakers so you can hook your phone up and jam out. And you also have those solid steps at your main entrance. So nice and sturdy and they do fold into your camper nicely. You also have front and rear power stabilizer jacks and you are even prepped for solar as well as extended season camping. You have a spot behind this wall for a TV bracket. So if you want to get a TV out here, place it underneath your awning, watch the football game, pop in a kid's movie, you can do that. Of course, you have your satellite and cable hookup plus some power. Also underneath your awning is an outside kitchen. Now these are always awesome. So um, if your kids are outside getting really dirty, muddy, sandy, whatever you want to name it, they need to grab a drink. They can just come right here and grab it without having to track all of that inside your camper. Um, this is nice and put away right now, but mini fridge, open cubby space. And you also have, let's see if I can do this with one hand, two burners underneath there. And then there is your second entrance. Coming just behind, you have your spare tire, an access door, and you can access it from the inside, and that's just a spot for some extra storage. You're also pre-wired for a um, backup camera, and you have a ladder to keep up on that roof and slide out main maintenance. One slide out on your non-camping side as well. So now let's take a look at the inside. So directly to my right, as soon as you come in, you have your master bedroom queen size bed and this does lift up for some extra storage underneath really long end tables on both sides the one on the left is slightly longer only because let's see if i can find it you have a drawer for some personal belongings put some books in there whatever you want both sides also have power plus usb ports to charge those electronics and above each is your closet locker also a shelf and a clothes rack in between are three extra cabinets for some storage. And then to my left is a spot for a TV bracket so you can have a TV in here if you would like. For some extra privacy, you have two opposing sliding barn style doors with a magnetic latch. Coming out here next to our um, first entrance, so our main entrance, you have all of the storage underneath your kitchen counter. Um, so if you need to grab something pretty quickly, you don't really have to come inside your camper to do it. You can just access it right there. Power as well, so you can plug in small appliances on top of your kitchen. And our price for this unit comes out to be $34,950 for everything. Right next to your um, entrance into your bedroom, you just have even more closet space. So built-in clothes racks, some removable shelves, and more storage down below. So if you don't have enough clothes space in here, you definitely can take advantage of that. And then back to our kitchen, you have extended countertop space for food prep if you need it, if you need the extra space. Stainless steel open mount sink, and then you have your spray nozzle. Also love the black matte finish. I think it looks great. Pretty big window, um, so you can have a lot of natural light coming in and still see the action while you are inside cooking. Cabinet space up above. And then you got your microwave, range hood, three burner top stove with this glass range cover. And there's your oven. Plus you have kind of an L shape with even more storage space down below. 
also your refrigerator. It's a really good size too. And I'll show you the freezer. Across from that, you have this is kind of interesting. It's actually called a pivot furniture. So your dinette and your uh, living room sofa is combined. So if you are wanting to eat at your dinette and watch TV after dinner, all you have to do is move that little pillow, take this cushion out, and then you just fold this back like so, and you have plenty of room for people to sit around the dining room table, eat dinner, and then when you're wanting to relax after having a big meal, you just put this back like so, and then put this pillow right there, and you actually have kind of an extended amount of uh, sofa space, so I guess if you wanna call this a chase, then you have that kind of L shape for your sofa. Pretty awesome. Across from there is your entertainment center. And I kind of uh, moved the TV out a little bit because it is on a swivel. You have some hidden storage just behind there. So some open shelving. You put some DVDs back there or board games. Three cabinets up above. And even more storage right next to that from ceiling to floor. And this can kind of be dedicated for your kids' clothes, toys, things like that um, with these bunks back here. Each bunk also has a privacy curtain, so if one of them is wanting to sleep in, they definitely can close that off too. These are rated for 300 pounds, so a full-size adult is able to sleep up here if your friends are wanting to come camp with you. And these are technically double over double bunks, so a couple kiddos can sleep per bunk depending on size. And then that is that access door I was talking about. So if you have absolutely no use for this bunk right here, you just fold it up and be able to latch it. And then you can really have access to all of this storage space right here down below. Um, honestly, a kayak could probably fit in there. Definitely some bikes, but um, really awesome storage space if you need it. And then coming in through here is our second entrance. So especially if your kids are running outside, getting muddy, sandy, dirty, things like that, they can just come in right here, use the restroom, and then not have to track all of that inside your camper. Same thing if you have guests over at your campsite, they can just easily come in through this door. Foot flush toilet right next to your um, inside entrance. Nice stand-up shower. And this camper is not plugged in, so it goes to show how much natural light is coming in here, especially with that skylight. And this uh, window for your outside entrance. No one can see in there, so pretty nice. And then you got your sink, storage below, plus your medicine cabinet. So that is it for this passport, you guys. Any sort of questions or concerns, feel free to let us know and we will be happy to help.